Hi, welcome to the lesson 1 of Chef Tutorial by Study9.com. This is an introductory tutorial on Chef Infrastructure Automation. In this series of videos, I have designed specifically for beginners who are new to Chef, Configuration Management and Automation Coding. Before starting the training, I am assuming that you are comfortable using a command line and that you have written scripts before like shell scripting, batch files or PowerShell. I am not assuming that you have experience with automation coding but yes obviously you know the terminal very well and you understand the basic building blocks of web servers. Now what is Chef? Chef is an automation platform that configures and manages your infrastructure and turns your infrastructure into code whether it is on premises or it is in the cloud. You can deploy to the infrastructure type that makes the most sense for your business. Now let us understand what do you mean by infrastructure as a code. Infrastructure as a code means that your computing environment has some of the same attributes as your application. Your infrastructure is versionable, your infrastructure is repeatable and your infrastructure is testable. Next is configuration management. Because Chef is a configuration management tool, so what is configuration management? Configuration management is a set of engineering practices for managing several entities involved in delivering software application to the customers. Those entities are hardware, software, infrastructure, people and process. So in one side we have the software application and in the other side we have customers. So these are the configuration management entities. Configuration management came about to address the fundamental challenges involved in doing group work. Managing change when you are the lone system administrator with handful of servers to manage is relatively straightforward. Trying to coordinate the work of multiple system administrators and developers involving hundreds and thousands of servers and applications to support a large customer base is complex and typically requires the support of a tool. Examples of modern IT configuration management tools are CF Engine, Ansible, Puppet and of course our Chef. Now why we choose to use Chef over other configuration management tools? What are its benefits? First is Power. Chef is built on the top of Ruby programming language. When you need it, you have the full access to the power of Ruby to code by yourself to customize Chef. So it gives you tremendous flexibility. Second is open source. Chef is open source and supported by a vibrant community of system administrators and developers. So you will get full community support and many standard infrastructure configurations and tasks are already described in Chef and cookbooks are available for free on the Chef supermarket site. Third is scalability. Customers like Facebook use Chef to manage tens of thousands of servers using only a handful of employees. choice. You are not locked into one way of using Chef. 
chef can operate in a distributed standalone mode or in a centralized mode requiring a server. There are also options to use push or pull models or both for deployment. So basically, Chef is very very flexible. You don't need to struggle to conform to Chef. Chef adopts to you and your environment. You can deploy to the cloud as well as local infrastructure. Now, what is the reason for configuration management tool? Why the tools like Puppet, Chef, Ansible, Solstack play a vital role in managing complex enterprise infrastructures? Here are some most popular reasons. Consistency, efficient change management, simplicity in rebuild, and visibility. Consistency. If your infrastructure is being configured manually, how do you know your servers are being set up in a consistent manner? There are several aspects, isn't it, like security issues, it should meet with your compliance, etc. Because humans are very bad at performing repetitive tasks. So why don't you make the life easier for your system administrators by automating repetitive tasks with a configuration management tool? Automate tedious administration tasks with a configuration management tool so your staff can focus on the other important things that humans do best. Next is efficient change management. Whenever your infrastructure is built manually without the aid of a configuration management tool, people tend to fear change. But change is mandatory. Over time, servers that are maintained by hand tend to become fragile environments that are hard to understand and modify. In these situations, organizations tend to develop a lot of processes for managing changes, usually with the sole intent on minimizing change or delaying it as long as possible. But surely that's your loss because the tends to delay introducing new features to your customer's need. But with configuration management, you can reproduce servers easily in a repeatable fashion and only few processes are needed to manage change. So small change batches can be performed on a regular basis such as daily or even several times in a day. What is simplicity in rebuild? Now the next problem is if you build these servers manually, it's not easy to again rebuild them from scratch. What would happen if you suddenly lose your server in a catastrophic event, so no disaster management, right? You will not be able to restore in a catastrophic situation. The solution is to use the configuration management tools that will help you quickly restore the services. System administrators can build a new upgraded system in an automated fashion and throw the old one away. When rebuilds are easy, system administrators gain confidence to make changes to infrastructure more rapidly. Visibility Configuration management tools include auditing and reporting capabilities. Monitoring the work performed by a single system administrator doesn't require any sophisticated tool. But a team of let's say 10 system administrators and 10 software developers deploying software application which may change many times per day, you definitely need a configuration tool. With automated systems, changes can be automatically logged in all relevant tracking systems to raise visibility 
on the meaningful work your team are doing so we are almost at the end of chapter 1 of our chef tutorial in this chapter we have learned about configuration management and its benefits over manual process we have also introduced with various automation tools like chef puppet ansible etc and infrastructure as a code we have also learned the powerful features of chef that makes it unique among the other configuration management tools in the next chapter we will start your adventure with chef by walking you through the chef installation process so that you can get started right away writing chef code